Good morning. Hey, what will God do to all the nations? Our study today is at Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 8 through 11. Here's our reading. For it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from your neck and will burst your bonds. Foreigners shall no more enslave them, but they shall serve the Lord their God and David their king, whom I will raise up for them. Therefore do not fear, my servant Jacob, says the Lord, nor be dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save you from afar, and your seed from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return, have rest, and be quiet, and no one shall make him afraid. For I am with you, says the Lord, to save you, though I make a full end of all nations where I have scattered you, yet I will not make a complete end of you, but I will correct you in justice and will not let you go altogether unpunished. Jeremiah says God will make a full end of all nations. He's going to put to completion all this pompous human rule. God's people have managed to make a number of mistakes, and our way through the end time is going to be kind of difficult. He's going to bring us through to real peace and real safety. Our many trials are are going to have an end, but there's some correction along the way we're going to all be experiencing. There is an important time of spiritual growth that we need to embark on right now. Now, in our text, there was something quite interesting. It says that God promises he will correct us. He will correct us according to justice. That should help us to feel confident and secure. Anything that happens is going to be right. God is going to help us to be right. That's very meaningful to me. Uh, No matter what God may do, see fit to do to me, or, or whatever I may experience, God will only allow what's right, and it'll give me the strength to go through it. He's going to do the same for each one of us. That's his plan. See, he wants us to succeed. That should put a lot of our fears to rest. See, God is like the loving parent. I'm sure that, this is my personal belief, that when Jesus was going through the crowds, that he walked in such a way that that the people who really had faith, the people who wanted to reach out and and touch him and be healed and be blessed and really did believe in him, he, he maneuvered in such a way that they could get close enough that they could get out there and reach there and touch him. But God is also a gentleman figure. He's not, a, he's not going to force his way to the front. That's not his way. Remember when Moses was out there in the wilderness and, and God put the burning bee, appeared in the burning bush, not directly in front of Moses so that he tripped over it, but he, he appeared over there far off on the hill so that Moses could see there's something interesting here. You might want to come and check it out, but Moses didn't have to go. Moses was a free agent. You and I are free agents. And so... God always gets close so that we can, we can come the last step, and he's the one that even empowers us to take that last step, but he lets us make the choice. He does not force himself on us, and he will never force himself on us, but when he corrects us, he will do it in justice. So let's be comfortable that this is the kind of God we serve. He's not forcing his way into your life. He's inviting you to come into his life. Hey, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Our hearts need you. Our hearts cry out for you. There's a longing. There's things we've been missing in our life. And until we draw close to you, we sort of don't really quite get it. We understand that we have a thirst, but we never feel that that thirst is sated. Lord, we have a a God-shaped hole that's been spoken of before, and, and yet it's true. We need you. You've designed us to be dependent beings, free and yet dependent. Help us, Lord. We draw close to you. Please help us come close. Help us to go through whatever chastening you have for us. Help your people. Thank you that we know you do all you do from love and uh, you have a design, a positive design for us. Bless us and get us through and give us even today the strength we need for the activities of this day, whatever they are, Lord, of every listener. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Thank you for getting us ready for the return of Jesus. This is our, our prayer today in Jesus' name. Amen. So God will destroy all the nations because their rule is all tainted by human selfishness and his kingdom will endure forever and there'd be no selfishness in it. He's lifting us up. He's drawing us up higher. He's bringing us up to higher ground, friend, brother and sister. Let's go up to that high ground. And today is a day to do it. God be with you this day.